Hi all, this training tutorial is entitled How to Manage Notifications in Microsoft Teams. So to give you a rough idea, let's swap for my team just here, okay? Um, so the idea is, is I'm going to communicate with Josh, who is a member of this new ice cream flavor team. So where do we go actually to manage the notifications? Well, what you do is you can go up to this ellipsis here at the top, and then we can go to settings, and we can go to notifications. And then when you click on notifications, here is pretty much everything you'll need to manage your notifications in team. And if that's it, then great. <laughs> if that's it, you can say goodbye, see you later. No, 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 don't do that. There's a lot more to this. Let us click on customized. I'm not going to go through everything of this, but I'll go through some of the main ones. So if we go to customize here, now I just want to just draw your attention to a few things. I've turned both of these ones off. I'll come back to that a bit later as to what those will do. At the moment, the personal app mention is says, uh, personal app mentions, um, only show in feed is selected. If I click on the drop down list, I get the option for banner and feed and only show and feed. Now I think the biggest question is what is the difference between banner and feed? So I'm going to turn them both on. Close that, swap back to Joshua, start a new conversation, and then at mention myself. Hello, how are you? Okay, press enter. If I go back, and then there we have the banner. Okay, now what's the feed? Well, the feed appears basically over here, and you can see it over here. This is what they call the feed. What I'm just going to do is just approve that, go back to our notification settings just at the top. Here we go and notifications and then I'm going to turn and customized and then turn that from banner and feed to only show in feed. So now if I swap that to Joshua and start a new conversation to at mention myself here. Oh, this is me again. Okay. So I press that. Wait. My phone comes up with the notification. I'll have to turn that one down. I see that in the feed just here, and I can see it my activity here. But notice I did not get a pop-up toast banner. Sometimes they call it the toast down there at the bottom. I didn't get any of that. So there we go. Now, there's no way of turning off that personal at mentions. Um, and many people say, how can I turn all of these notifications off? They bug me like crazy. So... Um, what I found if I go into customization, you can turn all of these off, team mentions, all of these, but you cannot change the personal app mentions off. Okay, so why would you want to use these ones, team mentions? So if I'm going to turn the P team mention to banner and feed, yeah, what that basically means is if Josh, if I go back to Josh, mentions the team in his conversation, so app mentions new ice cream flavor. Hello, everyone. Okay, if I go back, I get a notification. And I also get this little banner here that appears at the bottom. Oh, I'll change it to pink. There we go. Excellent. Now, if I don't want to receive that, well, guess what? I go back to my settings and my notifications. Customized. And then where it says team mentions, I'm going to say only show in feed, which basically means if I went back to Josh and then at mention to the team, again here, as you can see at the bottom, Okie dokie. What I do is I get a notification on my phone and I'll turn that one off, but um, I can see the notification in the feed, but I don't get the, I don't get that pop up toast, you know, just there. So brilliant. What else can you do? So let's go to back to notifications again. Okay. So I'm just going to turn this one off. This can be annoying here. Play sound for, uh, incoming calls and notifications. Now this is turning the sound off on the desktop. So even if I um, go back and let's just at mention myself here again with, um, that's it. like so, my phone will make a sound, but my computer doesn't. So what I'm just gonna do is gonna turn my notifications off now on the phone. Let's just do that here. Let's just go down and that's better. Otherwise it would just drive us mad there. All right, then let's have a go back to Teams. Let's go back to our settings and notifications. And we go to customize. We're doing a lot in this customize here. So there's um, 
Options, I'm not going to go into too much there. So re replies to conversations I started, basically meaning that if you've started a conversation and people have replied to it, then you will get a notification, whether in the banner or the feed. Uh, the same with replies to conversations I replied to. Now, what I want to do is I might be interested in um, replies in the feed and communication uh, conversations that I've started, but in conversations that I reply to, I don't want that because I could get loads and loads and loads. So I'm going to turn that one off. Likes and reactions. So that's banner and feed there. I'm going to change that to only in feed. What is a like and reaction? Well, I can just very quickly show you that if I write, um, say, a message here. Let's go back to my ice cream team. And then on my ice cream team, I'll start an at mention Josh. Um, just right here. Oops. It's not seeming to pick it up, Joshua. Let's try that again. Okay. Here we go. We've got it eventually. <laughs> here he goes. You know, may I say uh, that you're looking particularly dapper today? Um, oops. There we go. I mentioned to put I. May I say that's better. There we go. Press enter. Now, Joshua will get a notification. There we go. Let's just go down to that message here. And what he's going to do, he's going to put a little laugh on that one here, but I get a notification for that one, basically. I can see it in my feed here at the top. If I go at the top, there we go. Joshua reacted to your post. Excellent. Okie dokie. All right then, show and pinned channels. So you can hide channels. These are the channels, if I hover over it, these are the channels you've pinned to the top of your team or are shown on your list. So, you know, if you want to just turn them off for every one of them, you know, then you won't, otherwise you're going to get for every new post that somebody posts up, you're going to get a notification and that might be a little bit much. Same with channel mentions. You can at mention channels. So if you've popped that on that banner and feed and somebody at mentions a channel in particular, you're going to get a notification. Uh, just give you an example here. If I was in Josh, just here, got a new com conversation and go at general. Now it'll be the general channel in the new ice cream flavor team. You know, hello, I find, um, I think you will find this message annoying. There we go. Now that's in there enough. And now it comes up. And now because I've turned it on, I'll get a little notification. Mm. Excellent. All right, then. I don't get a sound because I've turned that one off. All right, then. Let's have a good look at a couple of other things that um, might be handy. Now, if you've started Teams, let's just go back to our notifications here. There we go. Now, if you've started Teams, you may have the show message preview little slider there selected. So what does that mean? Well, if you are in a chat with somebody, so say for instance, uh, let's go back to Josh here. Oops, let's close that one down. Let's go back to Josh. And then Josh is going to chat with me. There we go. That's good. So this with me. And then he will say, Simon, did you get that thing on your body removed uh, by the doctor. So that could be quite embarrassing, can't it? So if I go back here, you notice here, yeah, it actually appears on the message. Oh my goodness. And so if somebody's looking over your shoulder and if you're in the office or worse still, you're in a public place and somebody just sends you that message, they will instantly see that. So what you might want to do is go to these little settings just here, uh, go to settings and then turn that off. So let's just do that. It should be hopefully turned off automatically, but just in case somebody sneaked it on there, then you can do that and turn that one off there, which is great. So you've also got standard options here. If you just want to go straight to all activity mentions and replies and that, you can do that. So chats, whether or not you want to see messages or anything for app mentions within the chat. So remember the chat is if somebody's talking to you one-to-one -one, uh, just here. So you can also pop out chat. Just remember if I go here and I want to pop out the chat, I can do that and right click and pop that out. Um, which is good. And then I can chat with Joshua in an individual window, which might be quite helpful eventually after it's loaded. Uh, here, there we go. So I can chat with Joshua on a separate window. So I can go and do this and carry on and, you know, do this. I can, yeah, you get the idea. Let me just close that one down. Brilliant. Let's go back to my notifications again. 
There we go. Uh, meetings and calls. So you can change whether or not you want to get a notification if somebody started a meeting you've been invited to or in the team there. So yeah. Uh, and you can adjust how you want to see the chat of that meeting. So if I click on this drop down list, you, you can see I've got one of three options. I can unmute it to see the whole lot, even if I haven't joined the meeting. You can mute it until you join the meeting. Uh, or you send a message or you can mute it entirely. So I'm going to mute it until I join. Uh, people, you can keep a track on people. What I noticed here is follow a person's status and get notified when they appear available or offline. So if I typed in Josh here, I can do that and then I can do that. Now, if I go back to Josh and then I can change his status. So if I click on this here and you can see here it says available. So let's change that to offline. Sometimes you have to wait for this one, but let's have a look and see appear offline. And there you go. You can see instantly now I've got a message that says Joshua Fortescue is now offline. So you can keep a track on that if you need to. Now, I'll tell you what, let me just go edit. And if you want to turn that off, that just removes that person, which is good. I'm going to click on the back to settings button so I can go and sort of change some of these ones here. Uh, if I just scroll up to the top here, there's one last one, which I'm not going to really go into detail, but say, for instance, that your um, files in Teams, you're sharing files and people are updating and changing and moving files. And you're, you're say, for instance, have your Teams closed down, so you're not using Teams um, for whatever reason, then you can get notifications uh, through Outlook uh, as an email. So you can set this up whether you get it none at all, turn it off, or you can get it as soon as possible. Um, the only trouble with this is it can clog up your inbox a little bit if there's a lot of file management and file sort of movement going along in, um, in, in your team. So when I say files, I'm just going to do this once every hour. That's good. So just so you know what I mean by that, when I go to files sort of just at the top, let's go to, to my teams. That's it, ice cream flavor. And if I go to files, so if there's a lot of activity on these files here, people creating new folders and files and moving them and uploading them, then you'll get an email. So that might be something you want, might be something you don't want. If not, turn it off. Well, there you go. So that's how you can manage your notifications in Microsoft Teams. If you've got anything out of this tutorial video, then give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, make sure you click on that subscribe button and ring that bell uh, so you don't miss any future videos that I'll bring out. If you've got any comments about how you use Microsoft Teams or how you've changed the notifications to best suit you, I'd really appreciate that. Put it in your comments below because then other people can have a look at it and we can all learn from that as well. So I hope everyone's keeping safe. Uh, I just want to say take care and thank you so much for watching.